All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother Awarba from Great Millstone, Dallas, coming back to you again with this truth. Um, before I get started, I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful and humble elect that's out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth. Um, peace and blessings to you, Akiyam. Uh, that are out there doing this and uh, Shalom to you sincere sisters that um, are watching this channel and that have subscribed as well. All right. So, I mean, this lesson is not going to be very long because it's obvious that there are multiple, multiple videos concerning the topic or going into uh, what's going on right now, which is the uh, coronavirus and all that stuff that's going on and all the different plagues. Okay, that were written up for a time. You know, I mean, brothers, we we already understand. We already know what the deal is. But for those of you that are just now coming into the faith or or not, you know, that are not regularly in a camp or whatever the case may be, or you're just not knowing, hey, man, <laughs> it's time to get your butt in gear. Okay. Because it's it's clear what's going on around us. You know what I mean? If you're not paying attention, then, <laughs> then woe, woe is you. Woe be unto you. All right? So I'm going to get this precept. I mean, this is not going to be a very long video at all. But I'm just going to get straight to the point. Because simply, simply put, you know, it's time. Okay? This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake up out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. And how do we know this? Because of all the prophecies, man, <laughs> all the prophecies that were written about aforetime, man, that we've been telling people about week in and week out, man, on the highways and the byways. You know, constantly doing shows or constantly preaching, constantly going into different topics about prophecy and the things that are happening and the things to watch out for and the things to look out for, things to pay attention for or pay attention to, you know, because that's that's how we're going to know when our big brother Yahweh is coming back, man, because we, we are discerning at times, man. We were given a blueprint. <laughs> we know how the movie ends. OK. Verse 12, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us, therefore, cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Okay, so you, you, you already got to know, man, if you don't gird up thy mind and gird up your loins about this whole thing spiritually, you're going to get caught up. You're going to get left behind, man. You're going to get caught up like a thief in the night. If you're not paying attention to what Esau's got going on and all this stuff that's happening, you are, <laughs> there's no hope for you. Square business. Okay. Got another precept that I want to get. Just going into this whole thing, man. Okay. And like I said, this is not going to be a very long video because I'm pretty sure by now there's another video that you've already watched or there's a there's another uh, situation regarding the same topic. But I just had to get mine out there. So this is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, But of the times... And the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. You see that? He said, because of the times and the seasons, you you already know. Okay? He says, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. That's right, man. We, the prophets, Great Millstone, we've been telling y'all this for years. The apostles, the elders, uh, up and, and on down, uh, have been telling y'all this, you know, since the beginning. Yeah, now you're starting to see these things come to, come to, come to fruition, man. It's a beautiful time to be alive, to be in this truth, man, to be quickened. Okay? For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as a, tra as a, as travail as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape you know that's exactly what you see going on right now they have this this coronavirus which is supposedly so super deadly but think about it what does it do to people it gives you the flu it gives you cold like symptoms man all right 
gives you the cold, cold symptoms. And that's the exact same shit <laughs> that the flu does. So how is it super, super deadly to those that are in good health, man? This is just something that Esau is doing to uh, take your mind off of what he's really got going on, man. His real agenda, which is probably going to be to release the chip, man. <laughs> Kept Usher on in this thing so that this thing comes to an end. Okay. Verse four, be ye brethren are not in darkness that the day should over uh, slot, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. You see, <laughs> all right, verse five, you are, you are children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. That's right, man. Watch and be sober. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much my message right there. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got it by now, you ain't going to get it. And, okay, and so with that, I'm going to say, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect, and on to the next. Shalom.